Hey guys, this is Odwan Gaming. This is going to be another Dragonair Silent Gods video. It's the beginning of season one and uh, season one, bro. What am I talking? Season three. I'm crazy. I'm losing it. It's It's been a long day, but <laughs> it's time for summons, right? What else are we all waiting for? We start from the beginning, from the middle or towards the end of the previous season. We start saving our war model, our starlight and all the crazy stuff for the new season. And well, the time has come. I have 200 healer lights. I could buy some more, but I don't think I'm just going to buy them. Maybe one after I pull, if I get close to, a, to you know, a Mercy and I can buy a few more, then I'm going to do that. But I'm going to have a different tactic, okay? So I might be wrong. I might be making a massive mistake, but I'm not going to be pulling everything on the Season 3 banner, okay? So I did release videos in the last few days as, as part of, you know, sponsor videos for... Uh, for for my sponsors i cannot speak what the hell is going on with me <laughs> anyway at these videos where i went over everybody's kit and yes some of them look cool some of them look really nice but i don't feel like i've seen anybody that i'm like yes i'm desperate i need to get them you know obviously there was the thing with rook being broken and whatnot but there are some cool ones like i would really like from this one i would like uh you know the bond heroes that would be really nice the fire hero in cinerel is really awesome some of the you know mo mostly the supports are pretty interesting the and the exclusive ones are pretty interesting but at the same time i feel like i'm not desperate to get them you know i feel like there's a lot of other ones that i could get from the previous banners from the previous seasons that i would like like some simple examples that come into mind i would love to get a chrysos i would love to get myself a gillian you know there's there's quite a few that you need from the regular banners so that's why i decided i'm gonna sp i'm gonna switch it up a bit first things first what i'm not gonna do is I'm not gonna pull in the fourth wedding summons. The reason for this is, if you missed it, I did a video last season where she said, you don't need to do this one today, just wait. Don't rush into it unless you're desperate to get some new, you know, some other legendaries on your account, like now to do it. Just wait, this one's gonna stay on your account up until the end of the season, okay? You can wait till the end of the season to do these 20 that like, you know, guarantees you at least two legendaries. So I'm just gonna wait with this one. I'm not gonna rush it. I'm gonna keep it for later. And what I'm gonna be doing is, I'm just gonna pull on the 80 banner first, because honestly, with my luck, I always go to Perry. So I might as well guarantee myself, you know, at 80 uh, to get another one. And then I can either keep pulling on this one or I wait for, you know, when we get the, the new event that we had like in the previous seasons, UTR, Ardreth, all that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull 80 on this one and then everything else I'm gonna be pulling on the, you know, season exclusive you know to to try my luck and get some some cool stuff in there so i guess it's time we start wish me luck hopefully i get something interesting i hope i don't get some more uh, legendaries that i don't want to use my scrolls on i already have a ton of those <laughs> so let's see wish me luck 80 let's go come on let's see some luck okay starting strong nothing is it a rare tax no i actually got two epics let's see I don't think I'm missing like any of the actual epics unless they're like, I think one, I'm only missing one from the previous seasons. But apart from that, I'm mostly missing epics from obviously the season because I think, okay, okay, that's a good start. Come on, come on. That's what I want to see. Early legendary, come on, mate. Can it be something good? Let's see. Okay. Okay, okay, I got one of the new rares, at least the corrosion one, let's see. And the legendary is, okay. He's really awesome for Arena. And if there's gonna be areas where you need some uh, energy control, that's where John comes in, see? This is what I wanted to pull. I want those quirky ones, those those uh, heroes that can go with other stuff. Like John, because he boosts your ultimate energy and pushes back the enemy ones, and also the, has a chance to dispel all their buffs. So he can be really interesting. He was amazing for Chaos Shadows. He was he was uh, he was even good for the Mecha last season. So something like this is what I'm looking for. Jorn is, is a new one. I'll take it. I'm not going to build him early because obviously early on I just need AOE damage, but he's definitely going to come in into in play later. Let's see what's next with some epics. I'm really curious if I'm going to, if it's how, how this whole session is going to go. Because like I said, in the previous videos, if you watch them, I only had once where I got like a, a double legendary in a five pool at the end. Apart from that, I hit mercy every time. So this one, I started good. I started, got an early legendary. Can I get that nice luck finally? Can I get that nice like where like, you know, I get more double legendaries, back to back, stuff like that. I want to see some cool stuff. I want to see some cool stuff. Okay, so it's good. At least I'm, get I'm getting the new epics on this normal banner. 
I'll take it. I'm going to need them, so I will take it. Come on, let's see. Okay, another rep. I'm just going to skip the, these ones where uh, there's nothing too impressive. I'm going to take all the Essence of Creation I can get because, you know, after the season reset, we go solo on it and we definitely need it. But... What I what I what the it's gonna happen is basically I'm gonna get three legendaries plus the one from the 80 that's guaranteed that's gonna be four so that's a win that's a win because like I said I got in the first 10 I got one so there were 70 left to hit 80 so I'm gonna get at least two more plus the other one so what's that four and 80 that's a win that's a massive win from my point of view I'll definitely take it but still I would not mind if I get more okay got another corrosion one come on hit me with an early one hit me with another early one. Nope, not this time. Okay, fine. Fine. It's okay. It's okay. Who's this? Oh, Gituna. I think this was the epic that I was missing. Gituna was the other epic that I was missing, the rally one. And I think this one's going to be the guaranteed 40. Yep, this one's going to be the guaranteed one, the pity. Okay, let's see. Come on. Something good. Give me something good. It has to be good. It's four rares and a legendary. It has to be something interesting. Come on. Come on. Come on. <sighs> but ready. Oh yeah, <laughs> another good one. See, this is what I'm talking about. I want to see these quirky, interesting, nice supports. Vinyara, amazing. Amazing for, you know, she has a simple but awesome kit. This ultimate basically removes all debuffs, pushes back ultimate energy, uh, places freeze, places attack penalty, and it goes on down to a 16 second cooldown if it's fully scrolled. See, this is what I wanted to pull here. I wanted these quirky ones that can, you know, bring some, some interesting stuff to to my team that I'm kind of missing, you know. On the other banner, yeah, there's like Sorel and uh, Fenja that, that could be good, but Parfum has lots of damage. I feel like my, my account is pretty fleshed out when it comes to damage, so I'm looking for stuff like this. It's, that's good, that's good, come on. Let's keep going, let's keep going. Okay, this one's epic, so two out of two, I'll take it, that's really good. So unless I get an, an early one, I'm definitely guaranteed one more, okay? Plus the 80, so that's gonna be, cu I'm gonna be curious who that's gonna be. Come on, more luck, an early one, something? Nope, not this time, it's fine, it's fine. It's okay, I started with an early one at least, so I will take it. And then I'm just gonna get the guaranteed one and the AT one, and hopefully I get some more cool stuff from those, come on. I would love to get an exclusive one either, like I don't have any exclusive legendary on my account yet, so would be interesting to finally get one, that would be really nice, but I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna get it with my luck, okay. Another taxi again. I started with a I started with a legend at the first temple and then now I'm hitting pity. So this one's gonna be the pity one and then it's gonna be the 80. Come on, make it be something good. Come on, make it be something good. Two out of two so far. Can we make it number three? Okay, shelter already have him amazing. Come on, okay, another amazing one. Okay, ready. Come on, let's see. Oh yeah! <laughs> Interesting one. Again, I did not pull anything like this last season, so the fact that I got Carf enables me if I want to if I want to do something with Burn. I already have a Ratchet, he's pretty good. I have Carf. I have another option. I'm happy. See, this was good. Okay, this is really good. I'm really happy. He's amazing. He does, he does that full board damage where he hits a ton of times. Good for Witches remains. An amazing burn enabler can do a ton of damage. So Carf is definitely good. Welcome to the team. Welcome to the team. And now. Let's see what's the 81, come on. Can it be something good? Please, something good. Come on. Give an exclusive for this one. How cool would that be? How cool would that be if this is an exclusive? Let's see. <laughs> exclusive Owl baby, come on. I did not expect that. Like, I was kidding. You know, I was kidding. Like, yeah, give an exclusive. Well, also, I guess this makes me excited about my next pool session, guys. The next video, because this is where I'm going to end this one. But I got him. Now I'm going to be begging and praying that I get another copy of him on the other banner. <clears throat> Damn. Damn, this is crazy. <laughs> I did not expect that. This has to be arguably one of my best summon sessions yet. Like, I, I did get some interesting stuff previous season, but the luck and the things that I got are amazing. Like, all of those four runs that I got are amazing. I'm really happy about this. I'm really happy about this. And I'm going to be excited for the next one. So, 
We're gonna leave it at this. Keep an eye on the, on the channel because, like I said, in a day or two, I'm gonna be doing my other 120 summons. I might be changing my mind. I might just do these ones early, just in case I get Ozul. Okay, in case I get a copy of Ozul on the forfeiting one, that might change things up. But Anyway, this is going to be it for the video today, guys. Thank you all for watching. As always, if you do enjoy my content, don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to the channel to see when I upload next. And I'm going to see you on the next one. Peace, love, take care, everyone. Bye, guys.